about a concentration or dressing of the o so in that we will follow few physical methods namely they are here hand picking right next washing next froth flotation next magnetic separation so these are the four methods we are following to increase the concentration or dressing of the ore that means reducing the waste materials reducing the percentage of impurities that we can call it as a concentration or a dressing of the ore so these are the four methods as already discussed here simply after this you are observing a chemical reactions right chemical reactions so that is simply reactivity of uh, metals so already i discussed with you about a uh, reactivity series what is activity series i said activity series is nothing it depends on the it depends on the reaction right how they are participating in a chemical reaction with the other elements so that is we called as activity series the definition is given in your textbook so that reactivity is not same for all the elements we have many metals that metals are not participating in the same type of reactions right sometimes they are maybe similar but their fastness is different right their fastness is different for example if i take iron piece and uh, you have already experienced with the gold uh, silver etc right suppose gold if they are exposed to the air right which one uh, that means uh, change its uh, color tarnish right changes becomes a uh, dull right so iron so that uh, process we call as rust what about this gold rust free it may become dull but that also takes few months or maybe sometimes years also we are daily wearing the ornaments if you wear any article made up of iron just within 2 3 days its uh, color changes changes right so becomes dull that we need to notice here right so they are reacting so look at here simply you have this information on the screen so metals names are given right according to their reactivity from high reactivity to low reactivity potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminum zinc iron lead copper hydrogen silver platinum or so these are the metals are given here in this we know up to aluminum they are comes under the category highly reactive these are highly reactive from zinc iron lead copper up to copper you will get these elements in a moderate series then the last four elements comes in a least reactive series lowest reactivity right once observe their reactions right once observe their reactions here with the oxygen with the oxygen almost all the metals are reacting except ornament metals except ornamenta metals right here you can find the reaction of these metals with the oxygen they can form metal oxide by reacting with the oxygen metal can form metal oxide so metal plus oxygen will produce metal oxide for example if you take zinc zn plus o2 mu plus 
ZnOr Ca plus O2 CaO like this, right? So they can combine with the oxygen and forms metal oxide respectively. Here, if you observe these metals, what they are silver, platinum, or they are taking much time, right? So it is not possible. And one more uh, burning of magnesium ribbon we observed in a seventh class and also in eighth class, right? If you're burning that metal in the presence of oxygen, it can combine with the oxygen and also produce magnesium oxide. So like this also, we can explain the metal reaction with the oxygen. So here, when you burn anything by supplying the oxygen, right? They can form oxides. They can form oxygen, oxides. Example, uh, magnesium we can give, right? All the metals are not burned, right? So some of them by burning, some of them just exposing to the air. So like that, we can observe the reaction of metals with the oxygen up to here, hydrogen. They can react with the oxygen and they can form oxides. This you need to understand. Is it clear? Reaction with the oxygen. This table also important. Table also important. Reactions they may ask you in the exam or maybe in the MCQs, right? So like this, you can uh, concentrate on a table. The next here, we have another reaction that is with the cold water. That is with the cold water. So here, with the cold water, all the metals will not react. For example, uh, uh, while you are discussing about the chemical properties of the elements or metals in a eighth class, we learned uh, sodium preserved in the kerosene. Sodium preserved in the kerosene. Why the sodium preserved in kerosene? Because if you place it outside, what happens? That sodium vigorously react with the moisture present in the air or also it can react with the oxygen. So fast reaction will take place with the sodium. That is the reason for avoiding the contact with the air and the moisture. So likewise here, you are covering the surface of metals with a non-reactive material. Suppose if you purchase any new iron article, that may be given with a layer of oil or maybe they are just covered with a plastic cover. Why? To avoid the contact of the moisture, air, right? So some metals in this reactivity series up to magnesium, up to magnesium, they are reacting with the cold water. But here their reactivity from potassium to the magnesium decreases, right? Potassium displaces hydrogen by reacting with the cold water. So potassium plus H2O, right? So they can react and give you compositions, displacement reactions. So potassium oxide it can form and it give you hydrogen gas. For example, magnesium added, they can produce hydroxides also. Right, Mg plus H2O gives you MgOH2 and gives you hydrogen gas. For example, sodium is there, Na plus H2O. In a second lesson, we learned example number two. Na plus H2O giving you NaOH and liberation of H2. So this is the reaction we observed between metal and uh, water. All the metals will not react like this, few of them. So that is from potassium to magnesium. So magnesium reacting slowly, potassium fastly. Okay, that is decreasing from potassium to magnesium. Then what about the remaining else? From aluminum to the arm, they do not displace hydrogen 
they are least reactive comparing with the hydrogen so like this you can understand the reaction of metals with the cold water is it clear are you clear about this the next we are observing with the steam wafer hot if you increase the temperature that rate of reaction or the substances reacting with the other that nature changes right at certain temperature they may not react but if you increase the temperature more than that it may react so likewise here with the cold water you observed up to magnesium they can react but when you change the temperature that water com completely changed into wafer form what happened they are reacting up to iron here they are reacting up to iron right so here that uh, you are able to increase the rate of reaction by changing the temperature so here potassium to iron they are now able to displace the hydrogen from wafer steam right so their reactivity decreases from potassium to zinc its fastness decreasing displacement capacity right so this is you need to understand here from the remaining iron to other elements so after iron what you will get lead from lead to gold that displacement uh, capacity they are unable to displacement displace the hydrogen from water right or steam so this you need to keep in your mind the next uh, that reaction of metals with the acids in that also just we depended on the reactivity series all the metals will not displace the hydrogen from acid or hydrogen from the base just you are observing only acid and metal reaction not with the bases right so the displacement capacity from potassium to lead you are observing right copper right copper aluminum hydrogen then remaining metals silver platinum and uh, gold they are unable to displace right what the elements are there before the copper that elements are able to displace hydrogen from the acid right hydrogen from the acid for example if you add zinc metal piece to the sulfuric acid or maybe hydrochloric acid in this what happens zinc displaces hydrogen from the hcl and give you zn cl2 hydrogen so this is the reaction we observed so it is also example for the displacement reaction right from copper to aurum they cannot displace remember do not displace hydrogen right then finally you are observing or studying the reaction of uh, metals with the chlorine on heating so almost all the metals are available in the chloride form right all the metals but here if you observe especially about these ornament metals they are very slower rate right all the metals react with chlorine on heating right to form their respective chlorides respective chlorides sometimes suppose potassium is taken kcl you will get if you take aluminum aluminum al cl3 depending on their valences simply you can write the formula of uh, any composition or compound formula depending on the valency for example aluminum al 3 plus chlorine you are taken cl minus so use criss cross method here use criss cross method radicals are oppositely 
taking guys combination here so al 1 cl 3 here right al 1 cl 3 here so criss cross method apply so what happened your formula will be written al1 cl3 so hcf we can write it as al cl3 so need not to represent this one so like this you will get the composition formula so like that we are writing so here you got about a reaction idea about a reaction almost every metal available in the form of chloride but it is in decreasing order depends on the reactivity from top to bottom right so here simply heat involvement of heat will decide that strength right so this is understood from the heat evolved when the metal reacts with the one mole of chlorine gas to form chloride so how much energy they are able to liberate actually on heating right on heating so here you are providing heat energy absorbing heat energy absorbing heat energy endothermic reaction right endothermic reaction if you decompose this kcl into k and cl2 again in this process you are able to liberate heat energy so that is explained here on heating you are combining the chlorine with the metals or metal combining with the chlorine reversely in the decomposition reaction again you are able to produce that heat energy right so that is given here as heat evolved now this table is clear for you what we need to understand from this table table also important it gives you many questions based on the reactivity of the metals with the other elements right so understood well try to read again and again the next year we are moving another topic that is about a second stage extraction of crude metal from the ore so this extraction process actually depends on actually depends on reactivity depends on reactivity so what is actually reactivity here that a series activity series so what is activity series here arranging the metals right based on their decreasing order of uh, reactivity so how they are combining with the other uh, elements so few metals are highly participating in that chemical reaction faster many compounds they can form but some elements if you are comparing with these metals they can uh, available only in few forms right so many forms highly reactive less number of forms very least least reactive one or two combinations right so that a decreasing order you are arranging so more number of compounds to the less number of compounds what they are able to form so that you are studying and then they are metals especially arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity right so that we can call it as here activity series based on the position of the element in this series based on the position of the element of this series we can apply different methods to extract the crude metal from the ore so first point only given here extraction of the metals from its ore depends on the reactivity of the metal right so first of all you need to have an idea about the activity series first then only you are studying about the reactions right what are the reactions we studied already reaction of metal with the oxygen reaction of metal with the acid reaction of metal with the cold water reaction of metal with the steam reaction of the metal with the chlorine so five types of reactions we studied remember them right what they are namely here reaction with the oxygen reaction with the cold water reaction with the wafer gas 
right reaction with the chlorine gas right reaction with the acid few of other reactions also there but main important reactions are here these sir so why these only is that why not other because here what may be the processes involved in extraction of metals especially here their form how they are available in combined form that is the main thing right then here how to separate them by studying this the reactions are observed these are important so that particular reactions only given in the table right so that is the reason here to study about these reactions especially with the cold water steam dilute strong or weak acids chlorine right based on that only that elements are arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity called as reactivity series then already we learned about the reactivity series we classified them into three categories namely they are here highly reactive moderate reactive and least reactive right so based on that we are studying about that extraction of metals in three different ways they are given as here a b c so in the a we will discuss about a highly reactive metals in b moderate reactive in c we will discuss about the least reactive metals how to separate right so the process we will learn which is feasible which is comfortable right so that we will learn suppose here what the elements are given here look at them that elements are namely here calcium sodium sorry potassium sodium calcium magnesium and uh, aluminum what these metals actually these are the metals which are highly reactive or which are at the top place in the activity series so top elements are what they are highly reactive so here simple methods like a reduction or uh, roasting that methods some reactions are there they are not feasible because these are what highly reactive so this highly reactive elements metals will not be extracted by the simple processes right so what the methods you need to apply for these metals because here easily they are able to combine with the other metal other elements suppose if you expose the sodium to the air it can combine with the oxygen in the presence of moisture and give you metal oxide iron gets rusted so same chemical properties you are required to study you need to study them so here to avoid that process you need actually high temperature what you need high temperature you need it so high temperature how you can provide by burning the fuel or using electrical energy so chemical energy required or the electrical energy required right so that impossible because expensive producing electricity or producing heat energy by chemical sources fuels for example highly expensive so we cannot apply that methods right so these are what highly uh, what a costly expensive right highly economically high so you are unable to apply these process then what we will do here we are searching for the other process why you required that uh, uh, temperature sir because to convert these into aqueous solutions or into aqueous fat right suppose sir electrical process you are able to uh, what to use if you combine that ore with the water but high temperature the maximum temperature you are able to increase 100 degrees celsius using the water in liquid form 
at 100 degree celsius temperature that water can be converted into vapor so how that electrolysis process can be what uh, carried out not possible right so you need to increase the temperature to get that ore in molten state to separate them right so here solution is required but that solution is not possible by using water here so we need to convert that ore only into liquid form so for this purpose you need high temperature molten state right so if you convert these into liquid form at anode you will get metal uh, sorry uh, non metals at cathode you are able to get metal for example in the electrolysis process of uh, nacl you are able to get na at cathode right chlorine at anode see here last sentence is given that reactions also given as equation here na plus plus 2 electrons mu less 2 na and the chlorine minus will become cl2 by losing the electrons here so that can be transferred to the sodium here so these type of reactions are taking place in a electrolysis process so here this electrolysis process will be applicable but here there is one more problem here high amount of electricity is required to keep the metal in a molten state liquid form molten state means liquid form of metal right so that is given here so for this you need to use you need to use impurities why to reduce the melting point or sometimes you need to maintain pressure for example that melting point of ice lowered if you increase the pressure in a uh, skating ice skating we discussed in ninth class right when you increase the pressure melting point will be lowered when you increase the pressure boiling point increased pressure cooker example so that you need to understand here why you are changing that melting point and the boiling point right so this is about a first step in a stage 2 extraction of metals at the top of the activity series the next we will discuss about extraction of metals in the middle of the activity series right up to here is clear just uh, have you got something idea what the metals sir methods we are applying why we are applying that methods specially right so many uh, affecting factors are there right before you are applying some methods right so that you need to understand join immediately this meeting time completed join immediately